Yo, what's poppin', y'all? So we got that battle, Bowser versus Eggman from Mario versus Sonic. You know what I'm saying? Bowser from the Mario verse, Sonic, uh, Eggman from the Sonic verse. So yeah, let's go. Let's get. Let's not waste no time because the little preview that they show in the beginning. Cool. <laughs> all right, the combatants are looks set like, uh, from the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. But it looks like Bowser versus Eggman, but including like their. Bowser, there, his troops, and Eggman, his machine. Uh, look, there you go. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I come to make an announcement. This territory is now the base for my upcoming Eggman land, too. Okay. What a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I am Dr. Eggman. Oh, that's nice. Get the load of this. Hell yeah. Hey, the sound effect for the. Oh. <laughs> yep, the drop kick is. Yep. Oh, yeah. Shut <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yeah, break that. Yep. Reverse. Damn. Y'all hear the background song? You call these toys an invasion force, but see toads do better. Mm, Talk your ish. This power is without peer. It is the ultimate yeah. strength. Got infinite. <laughs> oh, they got the wall, the thump. <laughs> right that. So cool, yeah. Damn. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah, Metal Sonic in this. I'm weak. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like, every hold on. You see what's going on? Yeah, with that, you see dry bones walking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mario Party reference. Mm, I... Little Smash reference as well. Look at it. Mm. Hey, yo! <laughs> Spike them. Huh? <laughs> You've lost the battle before it has begun. Excellent work as always, Metal. Ready to wrap this up, Sage? As you planned. You know what they say, mm -hmm. the more the merrier. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Tom. Showtime. Hell yeah. Oh, you're done. Ooh, done. That cut was smooth. Mm. Go block. Oh, you're done. Oh, yeah, you're done. Was that a, a, a Mario baseball reference? <laughs> the pain brick. How dare you? Mm, yes. Your hands off my. Oh yeah, you're done. Oh yeah, you're done. You're done. You're out of here. Yup. You're done. Ah, they. Oh, yeah, y'all done. The death egg. Max power. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Sage! Fire is a dead move! 
Oh, yeah, you're done. You're so done. Yeah, Eggman, you're done, buddy. Yep, no, sir. So long, Doctor. I didn't call. KO! This war was not. <laughs> bro, I gotta watch this battle again, bro. There was so many Easter eggs I, I, I wanted to pause on. There was so I gotta watch this battle again. Let, let's see let's hear what why Bowser wins, which I I think not an easy one to That's win. Which might seem surprising given how the Sonic series is not afraid to show how tough its cast is, while Mario's comes across as more cartoony. But as it turns out, Don't Bowser get had everything he needed to take Chrome Dome down. In. Don't this get it twisted. Left, so we'll break it down into five categories. First up is physical stats. Bowser pretty handedly outmatched any of Eggman's usual mechs, like the Egg Dragoon or the Death Egg Robot. The Death Egg Robot could level cities. Bowser could punch a castle out of orbit. The Death Egg could destroy stars, but Yoshi could match that level of power. And Bowser's strength is certainly above the green dinosaurs. Plus, while both Bowser and Eggman's tech survive black holes, Bowser's was much larger. So, he may win some Stats, but this could change with their powers. Ah. With so many items and minions, that could make all that a moot point. Aside from power-up items, both could manipulate minds, create duplicates, and alter space-time. However, Bowser had a significant edge in having access to the majority of his abilities at all times. Yeah, Eggman can do some crazy stuff, but only across different mechs, fortresses, or space bases. Bowser's all natural. He's got all his best powers built in, and he ain't even a robot. Meaning he wins the War of Attrition. He even had counters for battle enders like the Metal Virus and Spatial Displacement Trap. Context matters for those weapons and both backfired in the past. But more importantly, Bowser could simply reverse the effects with his transmutation magic. Conversely, most of Eggman's robots could get turned into, say, a frog or a block with no reliable way back. Bowser takes the edge in powers. But definitely... I feel like, I feel like because you mentioned... They, they mentioned like Star Eater, uh, uh, Time Eater... With Eggman's portion, I, I feel like a lot of things that they're just saying, just say that Bowser out hacks Eggman and, and uh, has more ways to deal with Eggman as a whole. Because then people's gonna question, like, oh, why did you mention Time Eater for Eggman? You know what I'm saying? So, and why didn't you mention uh, Hyper, uh, uh, Super Metal uh, Sonic? And why didn't you mention, you know? Super Eggman and stuff like that. So it's kind of like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Just say that like, uh, Bowser just out uh, hacks, uh, hacks the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Not for intelligence. Come on. You have a four digit IQ, Bowser? Really? That's cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bowser's not an idiot. Usually, just really, really clumsy. Poor fella. Meanwhile, Eggman's an engineering genius who rarely ever gets bested by brains. Easy dub. Now, let's talk trump cards. As in, items so powerful, they could decide the entire outcome on their own. The Phantom Ruby was super dangerous, but specifically targets perceptions. Unlike Bowser's Wonder Flower, which mucks up reality for real. The Ruby affected a whole planet, but the Wonder Flower had the power to alter the universe. Also, the Dreamstone's ability to wish anything out of existence would have no problem cleaning up Super Neo Metal Sonic or Time Eater. Their most prized mm -hmm. possessions was a tougher call. Together, the Chaos Emeralds can break the universe, but so can the Grand Stars. Arguably not as much given the Emeralds scaling to Solaris, though Power uh -huh. Stars and Grand Stars are far more plentiful. Clearly, this is getting fairly abstract, and both had multiple options that could win the day instantly. So the safest bet is to call this category a tie. Which means it's finally That's time fair. to compare their armies. Eggman seems dead at first glance. I mean, look at all those buzz saws and rockets. Metal Sonic's speed and power alone could solo most of the Koopa Troop. But the Eggman Empire lacks something Bowser had in spades. Teamwork and loyalty. Eggman is a notoriously terrible team player. His alliances are practically guaranteed to fall apart. Hell, in Sonic Generations, he could barely manage working with himself. Eggman's army is designed to be controlled by just him. To Eggman, it's harder to command those with free will. Hence his rivalry with the free-natured Sonic. Meanwhile, the Koopa Troop follows Bowser because they actually like him. They train really hard to cover each other's weak points. Giving them plenty of advantages as this war progressed, like battlefield control through King Boo's magic and Bowser Jr.'s paint. And since the Koopa Troop doesn't rely that much on technology, Sage's hacking potential had little use. Also, secret weapon? 
Kamek is kind of busted, canceling Metal Sonic's power copying. Scaling yeah, he's the Phantom a, yeah. Group and potentially swapping the Chaos Emeralds were huge game changers. Add on that Bowser and his army can use any Mario power-up item, and they had millions, no, billions of combinations that the Eggman Empire just could not actively plan against. Even with Sage's millions of plans to take down the Titans, she thought them to be unbeatable, which Sonic proved was incorrect. Just comparing their conquests makes it clear. The Eggman Empire took over the whole planet, but Bowser's troop conquered most of the universe. Eggman was no pushover. His wit, power output, and ridiculous machines gave Bowser the biggest fight of his life. But the Koopa King's ludicrous strength, abilities, and united forces ultimately prevailed. Eggman <laughs> tried to poach the king, and now he's cracked and scrambled. The winner is Bowser. Next time on Death Battle. All right, who we got for next? <laughs> Subscribe and join as a member to see more Death Battle. Thanks for watching. Interesting. Watch Fall Guys got some like crazy, insane, like dumb thing. Like, oh, because of Fall Guys, you know what I'm saying? They, they can traverse Ria <laughs> some people. <laughs> you feel me? First of all, uh, shout out to Death Battle, bro, because the fight animation was superb, bro. Superb. That was, that, that's probably uh, my favorite, like, animation fight uh, so far uh, in, in this series, bro. That, that fight was awesome, bro. <laughs> that definitely was awesome. And it showcased, you know, Oh, both characters and you know showcase what they do and you know the goofiness of bowser and, and his verse and how op that verse is um especially his his uh koopa army and how you know strong eggman's uh robots are so i think that battle did a good job in terms of like uh, whoever did the animation showcasing both characters uh respectfully so that was awesome to see um the the um the results of who i thought you know when uh yeah i, I think bowser because bowser has some crazy shit <laughs> and and his army got some crazy shit too like uh a wizard uh, uh character like that motherfucking strong as shit you know what i'm saying so yeah I, I i think i think um the result is is uh for sure uh correct in my opinion but I will say for Eggman, I feel like I feel like they downplay a little bit with Eggman with the explanation on why um, Bowser wins because they didn't really mention uh, time meter besides the um, um, the portion of the army uh, part or the trump cards I should say um, for um, power and I, I feel like they, they was up big in Bowser and downplay Eggman for that uh, for that explanation on why Bowser is stronger than Eggman. I, just say that Bowser just have you know his, his uh when he has the, the star or his items or whatever just just outscales Eggman that's all you can say he and Bowser just have better uh hacks than Eggman that's all you gotta say you know what I say and boom <laughs> you give the explanation why and everything but just don't downplay Eggman you feel me so but I, I think overall Death Battle did a really good job with with that uh bowser versus eggman matchup that was very fun and definitely can't wait to see <laughs> the among us versus fall guys uh fight because that's gonna be very interesting so yeah oh a shout out to brandon yeah brandon yates uh does it yeah uh the score for this battle was amazing that was very fun so shout out to brandon yates and shout out to everybody uh who was a uh, part of this uh battle too yeah, I see from very familiar faces. So yeah, shout out to you guys. Yeah, I did a, a really, really good job with this battle. So yeah. You guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on my reaction, your thoughts on Death Battle with Bowser versus Eggman. And yeah, can't wait to see the Among Us versus uh Fall Guys battle. Should be coming up in a few weeks. Can't wait to see it. So yeah. I'm out, take care. Yeah. Stay safe and stay hydrated, y'all.